Travis, is this game in any way sort of a, a measuring stick for early point of the season here? It's a it's a great test. I'm you know I'm glad we're going into this nine and one, but it's a it's a great test for our team to see where we are heading into conference play. Uh, probably be our toughest game to this point, obviously with their rankings and uh, how they've been playing. Uh, very talented uh, basketball team, but no question, you know we've talked about a lot as a staff that this is. Uh, you know, uh, a great game for us to be playing right now to really see where we're at, things we need to work on, and um, you know, because this is a, obviously a Big 12 type type battle. What, what is the greatest challenge Maryland presents to you guys? Oh, you know, they can go get shot. They can go get baskets. They can really score the basketball off the dribble. They got great plays, but when things aren't working, they got so many guys that can just go get a shot and make a shot. Uh, very impressive. Uh, they're big, uh, long, uh, playing a lot of guys. But yeah, you know they're uh, they can just go they can go score it in a lot of ways and from a lot of positions and uh, very versatile team, especially one through four. Layman's one of the better four men I've seen in a long time as far as things he can do and different ways he can score. Uh, lead the country in free throw, uh, made free throws a game. I mean that's a physical basketball team. It's got a lot of impressive numbers offensively and very good defensively because they have length. They got great length at uh, at all their positions. Sounds like Trimble's a freshman who's just jumped right in. Well, he's a he's a pro prospect to be in the NBA at some point. Uh, really understands the game. I love the pace he plays with. Uh, seems to play with a little more maturity than a, a, a typical freshman. Um, but yeah, he's very, very talented. Can he's another one of these guys? Things aren't working. Their shot clock's going down. <laughs> they go get. They go make shots, uh, and that's a dangerous team. Travis, have you been surprised how quickly you have so many new guys? How quickly they seem to have kind of, you know, gravitated together and gotten. Yeah, gotten I am. I, you know, I, I was talking to somebody the other day that I'm surprised of our record a little bit. Surprised how quickly they've come together. But with that said. Uh, we're about where I thought we, 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 we need to get a lot better. There's areas that, uh, and there's specific areas that we've tried to pinpoint with our team right now that we've got to get better at very quickly. Um, but yeah, you know, um, going into it when we really didn't know what to expect as far as rotations are concerned, um, as far as what to expect out of certain players. But the, the, the positive thing, uh, the, probably the biggest positive is it's been a different guy for us uh, on a, as far as the new guys are concerned. Uh, that stepped up. Now, with all that said, I'm looking for somebody to jump up and say, "Hey, let me give me the 15, 20 minutes." Uh, we're looking for that. Um, you know, we're I'm playing 10, 11 guys, uh, and uh, as we know, when you get to Big 12 play, you know, you need to be uh, solid in your rotations and who's who. But I, I couldn't tell you right now, after our top four guys, who it's going to be. That's not a bad thing, but we still need to get a little bit. Uh, we need some guys to step up. When you say there are still areas to get better, what's sort of on your to-do list still? Rebounds, get better at rebounding, uh, both ends. Rebound the ball better at both ends, block out on the defensive end, get a little more, a few more attempts on the offensive end. Even though we've never been a big offensive rebounding guy, you know, I'm big on defensive transition, but we need to get a few more opportunities on the offensive glass. Uh, take care of the ball. Uh, more than anything, it's just a turnover ratio. Uh, it needs to get better. Uh, but quit turning the ball over. Even though we're only at 12, I think 12.7, need a few more assists uh, to get that thing flipped around. Uh, ball screen defense is an area, even though I thought last game we took great strides in our ball screen defense, great strides in how we guard our, our, our ball screens. Uh, those are some areas right now. And, and the bench, you know, uh, you know, coming out of the uh, Memphis game, I wasn't real happy with the bench. And we really challenged them before the Middle Tennessee game from talking to them, from showing them tape, to pinpointing individuals. And I thought our bench was great in the Middle Tennessee game. So um, we're, we're wanting to still develop the bench. You know, uh, we want some guys to step up and uh, be more of a difference maker on a consistent basis rather than, you know, uh, every two or three games.